Hi, I'm Rowena and this is my channel, A Fuller World. If you've been watching, you know that me and my camera shy hubby Kirk have been exploring the amazing New Zealand in our camper van Vandal throughout our Honeymoon New Zealand series. We've seen the magic of the North Island and we're currently winding our way through the spectacular South, but we hope you continue to enjoy our adventures. Good morning. So this morning we've driven up north again and we're now in Araki Mount Cook National Park. So we're doing the Mount Hooker um, or the Hooker Valley Walk which is about a 10k return walk and so far we're only about a k in but it's a stunner. I mean, look at this place. I honestly don't think there's gonna be a part of this walk that's not beautiful. Like, just check around me. This is a must do. Instead, wind. So I think we're both a bit nervous to cross this bridge. This has been so windy. Feels like we're getting blown over on this big suspension bridge. end point of this hike was it which is at the end of a glacier here and you can actually see the bits of the glacier that have broken formed icebergs in the lake um, it's felt like a real achievement to make it here I don't know if you can uh, hear all that wind if you can hear me at all but the weather took a bit of a turn for us so uh, it feels like it's a bit of real effort to get here but it's beautiful So as you can see, we've finished up with the Hooker Valley track, which was a beautiful walk. Um, unfortunately, it didn't get as much of it captured as I would have liked because we were trying to keep the camera dry and out of that rain. But I would really recommend doing it, you know, rain or not. I think just make sure you bring something warm, bring something waterproof if you're gonna walk that on a bit of a, a drizzly day. Um, but it was really cool right near the end we actually got to see a little avalanche up on the hills so that was really um, sort of special to watch as well 
Um, we've driven down the road a little bit further though. We're up at a place called Lake Tacapo, which is where we're staying for the night. And we do have something else planned here, but unfortunately it's also a little bit clear skies weather dependent. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes, but it sounds like they might have an indoor alternate for us. So fingers crossed uh, we still get to do a little bit of something that we've got planned here. So we've come down to the Dark Sky Project here in Takapo with the hope of doing some stargazing here because we are in a dark sky um, sort of land conservation area. But unfortunately it is super cloudy so we're not going to be do, able to do any stargazing tonight. But instead we're going to take a virtual stargazing tour so they're still going to show us what the night sky would look like tonight if it wasn't cloudy. And we're going to get to have a look at some of the telescopes that they use here as well. This type of telescope here. So what it does is it has a lens at the top, a glass lens that refracts the light, it bends the light to a point through that eight meter tube into the eyepiece down here. And that lens acts like eyeglasses, right? So depending on your prescription, it's going to bend the light at a different angle. These are all far away galaxies. Billions of light years away. This is what space actually looks like. All of these little smudges of light. Billions of stars. All billions of solar systems. And if they are billions of light years away, that means that the light has had to travel billions of light years to reach us here. So this picture is far outdated, right? Civilizations could have risen and fallen in that time. We don't know, right? All of these little dots are like here. 